Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to travel back in time with Google Street View. So, if most of us are familiar with Google Maps and you're used to using a little person icon, dragging it over streets, and you want to go back in time and see perhaps how streets used to look, or you know, if you want to look around and see past and present, you know, progress. Maybe there's new buildings that have gone in or whatnot, and you want to see an archive of old Street View imagery. I'm going to show you guys how to do that, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is just go to Google Maps and then find the area you want to go ahead and locate the Street View for. So you just would go over that in the map, and you would select the little person icon to browse Street View images. Just hold down the left mouse cursor like you would normally navigate to Street View, and you would drop it over whatever segment of street you wanted to view. And now that we're in here, you can notice up at the top left there's a little clock icon. You go ahead and select that. And then it'll give you a little drag bar to go check different points in time in which the road in question was being looked at. And then you can just select the little plus icon to take you back in time. And that's pretty much it, guys. So pretty straightforward on that. Please note that all streets will not have this extensive of a history. Some might only have one view in you know all of its history. Obviously, I think it largely depends on how busy a roadway is. It will determine how many images it's been taken of in the past. It's very labor-intensive to go through every street. So, you know, Google prioritizes the main arteries, and then they come back, and they do the secondary roads every so often. Again, depending on how busy the streets are generally. And not all countries have street view images as well. So, pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.